Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4 Kids at 147 and it is time for me to de-kit Mr Fox. Uh, so I very recently finished uh, both a swan and a fox um, from my latest kitting up for my latest whip um, and in that process uh, I did actually decide to de-kit my swan and kit up my new painting so I'd have something to work on and then de-kit Mr Fox later. So Mr Fox is now officially de-kitted. Oh sorry, will now be officially de-kitted uh, and I will show him to you all completed because I didn't quite get it done on the video. I'm just going to grab my beautiful bag of three tens because three tens is the one I have so many of. It is just easier to just throw them in here. And if anybody ever needs any three tens for a project, I just use one of these. One of these pots, take the lid off and just scoop. I wonder if I kept all of my diamonds that I'd ever got, you know, and didn't split them up, whether I'd end up having to have uh, a photo box with, with loads of these bags in. Maybe the smaller ones, my little A6 size ones, maybe. Is that my smaller one? Have I got smaller than that? No, I have got smaller than that. Maybe I'd have to find a box to stack them all up like that. So that I could have loads and loads. It cost me a fortune in bags, the amount of numbers I've got. But anyway, I digress. So I'm going to de-kit this one. This one's actually in DMC order. So even though I do have all of my boxes out, uh, because if they're not in DMC order, in my storage because I pick what order I pick the order for my pots in my case according to the symbols uh, I find that a lot easier for me to find what symbol I want while I'm actually painting uh, some companies the symbols are in the same order as the MC uh, and some companies they're not so I like to pull all my boxes out when I first start and then if like now it's in DMC order what I'm going to do is once I finish with this first box I'm going to put it away. It's like a little landmark on a project of oh I'm getting there, I'm getting tidied up and then I will have space on my desk of course once it's all finished and everything's away to be able to um, frame up or put on to card my fox painting. Doesn't have that many colours this one. I will also be de-kitting my doors painting this week. Uh, my doors paint gem mini set that has been put off and put off and put off for so long so it'll be really nice to have that de-kitted as well and like a complete clean slate everything that needs de-kitting will be de-kitted till I finish my current painting which could be this week but I will enjoy everything being done while it's done I have used our own labels for labelling up these pots um, and while they do come off and they come off fairly well in most instances every now and then they do stick a little bit more because they're not made as as removable labels because they're primarily used for these bags so we need them to stay put um, Sometimes it depends on the bottle itself, whether they like coming off as easy, but a bit of goo gone at the end if I need to. At the minute, I don't think I need goo gone, but we'll see what it's like by the time I'm finished. 
So eight, four, two. I know it's in here somewhere. There we go. Further back than what I thought. And that is box number two done already. How quick was that? Let's take my label off. I use my little bookmark to tell me where I am in my case, in my photo boxes. Uh, it stops me losing track, especially, you know, if they don't decide that they want to sit with that bigger gap for me to view. Like now, it's just all dropped forward. So by putting that bookmark in, I've got a quick reference as to where I need to go. to be able to add them back. So I can just push that one out of the way and throw them back in. And I want 951, not 954. Bob that little one back in. Now I do have a couple of different shades in this one. Um, I do keep them both together uh, because if I ever run out of a diamond, of a particular colour on a particular project for whatever reason. Uh, I will just tip the diamonds into like one of our mega trays uh, and pick the closest match and use those diamonds for the ones that are missing. Quite often when you're missing diamonds, it's not a huge amount. If I went to kit up a painting and say I was missing a complete colour, like the whole colour was gone, um, then more than likely I would contact the company and get a replacement before I even started the painting. Um, I may look in my spares and if I do have loads of them and they all look to be the same shade, then I may just go ahead and use those. A lot of that would depend on how long I'd have the painting as to whether I felt like I could get away with it or how much the, the diamond colour was in the painting that I was doing. But yeah, if I went to kit up and I was completely missing a colour, like well and truly all gone, don't have any, then I would contact the company and I just wouldn't start the painting. But once I've started a painting, I really, really don't want to stop. So for example, this one, apart from the colour that I've just thrown in, the rest of them all look the same. So if I've had the painting for years, or if it was a company that didn't exist anymore, then I would quite happily use that colour in the painting and carry on that way. Um, so having the spares gives me the options for that. Saves me having to go and find a company to buy some from and then have them shipped to me. Say, especially if it's a company that is no more. Um, getting replacement diamonds basically then falls on me. Um, but yeah, if it was a company that was still in existence and it was all of the colour, um, then I'd probably email the company and see what they could do. But if it was at the end of the painting and it's only a few, then is it the company? Because quite often I have been known a couple of times. More recently, I've done it a few times um, where I have actually managed to, to completely knock my own arm full of diamonds and send diamonds flying everywhere. Um, and yeah. I've made a goodness almighty mess and rather than pick them up and spend all that time picking them up, sorting them out, I have just vacuumed them up. Vacuumed them up and figured if I run out then I will go to my spares because it is, I just get more frustrated having to pick them all up to be honest. Um, when more often than not, in the grand scheme of percentages and probability and all that sort of stuff, the company sends you more than enough diamonds most of the time. So 
why suffer right this bag is actually full to brimming and i have more so for this one i'm actually going to get out my extra spares is this the one that i want yeah see look these are all three eight six five all those are my extras of three eight six five so i'm going to tip those in straight away and while i'm here I'm going to fill the bag up with some out of here and if I squeeze the sides of the bag it actually allows more to go down and hopefully I can still seal it up. Sometimes I overfill it too much to even seal it up. Yeah just a little bit too many. Oh. And now I've tipped far too many back in. Oh my goodness me. See, this is this is the joys. I don't edit my videos. I just get on with it. Okay, I've got all those in there. I've taken some out of here. So this has got a little bit more breathing room. For when I de-kit kits that don't have anywhere near as many extras of 3865, this one had a lot because of course the background was all of that colour. Get my stickers off the table. Right, let's pop these two boxes away. There's nothing pretty about my extra spares box. By the way, they're just stacked in there in rough number order. But my case actually doesn't need goo gone. There's just a couple there that they scratch off with my nails. So I'm not going to bother goo gone in this. As long as the case looks nice when I take it out to use it on my potential next project, I'm happy. That's what I want to happen. So that is done. What I do need to do now is frame our lovely Mr. Fox. Put my storage case away so this is mr fox i completed him and mrs swan um i ended up kitting up two projects so i've already de-kitted the swan on camera because that's round and that's square if they were both square or both round i may have de-kitted them both at the same time but because they're different shapes it literally is twice as long um, so to get this looking like the swan I use my scissors and cut as close to the diamonds as I can without trying to chop through diamonds or knocking them off and I cut around on all four sides now you could potentially do this before you start diamond painting you know cut your edges off and stuff uh, it is a thick canvas so it's not likely to you know fray like the edge of this hasn't frayed in years and this was the oldest painting in my stash from uh, this one was actually from 2021 because i did quite well for a few years and i was doing paintings as they were coming in uh, I just ended up with the ratio going that I couldn't quite complete them as quick as they were coming in. Uh, so yeah, this is from 2021 and the, this outside edge of the canvas hasn't really frayed. There's a little bit there, but to be honest, that could have been like a little cut in the canvas. I don't know because I've had it that long. Um, so yeah, you could do it. I have done it on a painting before, but I really didn't like working on it with um, the edge cut off. I just didn't like lining up the di these diamonds right by that edge with it not having the rest of the canvas. So it is a personal preference. Some people do it and like it. I personally don't uh, and I do find that the diamonds that are already placed down create a nice edge for my scissors to follow 
Uh, now you may see that I do have, especially when it's on my white desk, I do have some sort of black lines of the canvas that are showing, which were the outer border. Uh, in some instances, I do go back through and sort of trim those off. But because I'm putting this onto black card, they've disappeared. <laughs> they've all gone. Uh, so that makes it, that makes me not worry anywhere near as much. Uh, so I like to store my 30 by 40 or less diamond paintings in an A3 display book. Um, I pick mine up from the range in the UK because they're really, you know, they're dirt cheap. Um, but getting them shipped in would cost me a lot more in shipping than it would just picking up the books from the range. Uh, I also pick up this A3 black card from there as well. <clears throat> so I pick up a pack of each and pop, pop any diamond paintings like that in here. If I did ever want to frame this one, I can bring it out. I can either put the whole thing into a frame, like an A3 poster frame if I wanted, uh, or I can potentially cut round the black card or something and do it that way. So I quite like having these borders roughly the same and having a bit bigger at the bottom uh, because then if I want, I can create like a sticker or a title and it'll look a bit like an art gallery. Uh, but I like to make sure that it is lined up how I want it to be. And then I put my arm on the painting lift it up and I'm just taking off this top row of double-sided tape. Now this is just normal double-sided tissue tape, just the same as what we sell in the shop. Um, it is going into a folder. It's not going up on the wall with no glass or anything. It is going into a folder. So once I've taken that off, because I know this hasn't moved under my arm, I just let it drop and the weight of the diamonds will flatten it out nicely. Um, yeah, because this is going in a display book and it's not, it's gonna be behind a piece of plastic or if it's going in a frame and it's gonna be behind a piece of acrylic, I find that double-sided tape is more than enough to keep that in place. Uh, even with the weight of the diamonds. If you were gonna put it up on the wall and in some way mount just this card to something and have the diamond painting loose, you may wanna put a little bit more adhesive on to be sure for the long term. So for the short term, it works perfectly fine. But long term without, you know, some sort of support to stop it flopping, should we say? I don't know how good that would be. But yeah, I just let that drop. And then I shake that, if I hold it upside down and shake it, it's not coming off. Um, but I say, if it had gravity against it for a really, really long length of time, it may end up being a bit different. But yeah, look at Mr. Fox. And I know people were saying how they would have chopped this um, and not done that top part of white. And to be fair, if I put that black above, if you kept the border about the same size as that, then yes, that will still have been a nice picture. But I do like the effect when it has all that white at the top. Um, so yeah, I just went multi-placing and just went into a zone with me book on and got it all done. But yeah, Mr. Fox is now finished and put away. Um, I will be, say, de-kitting my paint gem kit doors to have a nice clean slate um, with all paintings that are finished being completely done. But that will be coming later on this week. But thank you so much for joining me while I de-kitted my kit. Uh, and me and Mr Fox will say bye for now and we'll speak to you again soon.